number one question. Which stage of the Calvin cycle utilizes ATP? So, here comes the four options for it. The correct one is this one. Which stage of the Calvin cycle it utilizes ATP? That is the reduction as well as the regeneration. Next, for a simulation of one carbon dioxide molecule via photosynthesis, the energy required in the form of ATP and NADPH2 are. So, the correct option is this one. We require 3 ATP and 2 NADPH molecules. Number 3. The first stable product of Calvin cycle. The first stable product of this is the, uh, that is. 3 phosphoglycerate. Number 1 is the correct answer. Question number 4. Dark reaction depends upon. It depends upon the product of the light reactions. So, that will, dark reaction. It depends upon the products of the light reaction. Question number 5. The first dark reaction or carbon dioxide fixation product is that is 3 carbon compound, 3 carbon organic acid. Number 6. Melvin Calvin used radioactive in studies for the discovery of first carbon dioxide fixation product. So, we have the four options over here. All these questions are very important. You kindly go through them thoroughly. And uh, these, all these questions have been asked many of the times in the examination. So the correct option for this is we have to fill in the blanks for this. So the Melvin Kel Calvin, he used 14C radioactive in algal photosynthesis studies. He used this one, algal photosynthesis. Then question number 7. What is the primary acceptor of carbon dioxide in dark reaction? So the primary acceptor of carbon dioxide in dark reaction, that is, it is a ketose sugar. Number 8. Which of the following is not a step of photosynthesis? So... As we all know, these three, they are the steps of the photosynthesis, that is carboxylation, regeneration and reduction. So, the correct option is we have to find out the which is not a step, that is the decarboxylation. This is not a step of photosynthesis. Number 9. The order of three steps of Calvin cycle is, so the order is, Carboxylation, it is followed by reduction and then comes the regeneration. Last step. Then number, Kelvin pathway, it occurs. So, it occurs in all the photosynthetic plants. Number 11 question, the most crucial step of Kelvin cycle. So, we have to find out from this the most crucial step of the Calvin cycle. This is uh, the number one step that is the carboxylation. How many molecules of 3 phosphoglycerate are produced during a single run of carboxylation? So, we know that how many molecules they are produced during a single run. This one, two molecules they are produced. Number 13, how many molecules of ATP? All these questions related how many molecules of ATP, NADPH or uh, how many molecules of 3-phosphoglyceraldehyde. Uh, all these questions, uh, you have to be very clear and kindly uh, be clear with the cycle as well. So, so that you are able to answer all these questions in one go. How many molecules of ATP and NADPH are utilized in the step of production? 
so the correct answer is this one that is the a part so two molecules of atp and two molecules of nadph they are utilized in the step of reduction number 14 for the formation of one molecule of glucose how many turns of fixation are required so the correct answer is for fixation of one molecule of glucose uh we require six turns this is the correct option next for the uninterrupted flow of kelvin cycle which step is most important so the most important is if we want the kelvin cycle to operate with uh, without any interruption so the most important step that is the uh we have these options and the correct one option is this one that is the regeneration number 16 how many atps are required for regeneration of one molecule of iubp so how many atps are required for regeneration of one molecule of ribulose biphosphate that is the correct option is this one one atp it is required then number 17 the step of regeneration during c4 cycle occurs in so we all know about this this occurs in the only in the mesophyll cells these cells are involved in this then number 18 the process which makes major difference between the c3 and the c4 plants so the major difference uh, which marks the difference between the c3 and the c4 plants that is photorespiration number 19 the chemi osmotic coupling hypothesis of oxidative phosphorylation proposes that adenosine triphosphate is formed because the correct one is uh this is uh, the chemi osmotic coupling hypothesis uh, that is in the electron transport chain that is the oxidative phosphorylation phosphorylation process this is uh atp is formed because of a proton gradient that forms across the inner membrane so atp this is finally formed due to this the proton gradient then number 20 which of the following statement is incorrect you have to choose the false statement out of these so the false statement is rubisco is a bifunctional enzyme this is a true statement then coming up to the next uh, statement that is in c4 plants the site of rubisco activity is mesophyll cells so this one is the incorrect statement res2 uh, these also you read it because these two are so are the true statements that is the substrate molecule for rubisco activity it is a five carbon compound we know this thing and the rubisco action requires it requires atp as well as nadph